Sash Capelli with ScreenRant.com, here with Dermot Mulrooney, Sean from Insidious 3. Your character deals with so many real life things and yeah. a lot of supernatural things too. How as an actor did you mix those two genres? What was the process? It was really fun with this. I knew it was going to be that uh, right from reading the screenplay because the whole thing has a heart, you know. Oh, yeah. You're kind of looking past it because you know something bad's coming. But what the filmmaker's really doing is kind of softening you up for that, you know, for that one-two punch. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was clearly stated, this is your job. You come in and you play super realistic dad in crisis trying to keep his, uh, you know, his, his family together through this period of grief and recovery. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, that's right when the bad guys on the other side know this family is really vulnerable. And they used my daughter as a conduit into uh, the living, um, and they want to um, kill her and drag her back across to the further. So we do everything can we can to keep her safe. You try. Yeah. And I know you have a son, so yeah. uh, as a father, how is it having an on-screen daughter with Stephanie? How is working? Oh, yeah, I have daughters too, but they're not this age. I have one teen son. So <laughs> it was interesting, um, made easy by Stephanie Scott, who's just a really appealing young person and, and uh, really talented, obviously. So um, we, it didn't take a lot of work for us to establish a really unique rapport. Um, and I say it that way because, of course, there's the on-screen uh, father-daughter, but then there's kind of a friendship because um, I've worked with a number of teens or young actors, you know, um, where I guess what I mean is ordinarily I wouldn't really come into friendship contact with people of that age group. And so here I am like a 50-year-old guy with a 17-year-old girl. But, um, but we got along yeah, great. Yeah, you kind of have and you to. Can, you can see the rapport on, on screen. They cast us really well, I think, as a father and daughter. Um, and I can't say enough about what kind of performance she turns in in this movie. It's so fun to watch her, oh my you know, gosh, She was really. amazing, and it was great to watch you two together. You do a great job of misunderstanding teenage girls. That's, <laughs> so that's that was right. Awesome. And all of those things, too, really. Uh, you're probably referencing scenes from earlier in the movie that kind of soften the audience up. Yeah. But we know, making this movie, that everybody's just waiting for that other thing to happen. So that kind of suspense was really fun, too. Play. Well, I'm doing a scene where I'm just normal dad, kind of concerned, get the kids out to school. In the back of my mind, I know this is all just uh, platforming, you know, for the real show. Totally, yeah. totally. Now, you've only done a few horror movies, um, right? Is well, this is really the only one that's a full-fledged horror. Right. I had a little part in Stoker last yeah. year, which was a great... Super fun. Super fun movie, beautifully made, but more of like a psychomaniac, homicidal murderer movie right. than a Straight horror. Right. <laughs> How is working with um, with Lee Wan Al? He's new as a director, but he's been doing this genre forever. So yeah. how was that? Yeah, I love joining. They, you know, there's some sort of like whole morphing empire over there of these guys with the Saw franchise and Insidious. James Wan, of course, produced this as well, so he's involved. Um, but it gave me great confidence, especially the minute I m met Lee. I could see that he was a real sharp dude and uh, really fun. We gotten to be friends. So tell me real quick about Lavender. Oh, Lavender's going to be fun. I just took this role. I'll play opposite Abby Cornish, who people seem to just love. And um, you know what happens right at the end? It actually gets a little supernaturally. Right, that's right. It's a thriller, definitely, like a recovered memory mystery. Uh, but we, the, the, the screenwriter really couldn't help himself. Right <laughs> at the end, it gets really freaky. So it's a, awesome. it'll be a good one. I hope you like it. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations on Thank everything. You. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.